Hi everyone, welcome to my first baking video ever. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Hong Kong style pineapple buns. These are my absolute favorite buns you can get from any Asian bakery. They're super soft um, and with a sweet cookie crust on top and obviously no pineapples in them. Um, I like to eat it as it is, but a lot of people like to put a huge slab of butter inside too, so it's really up to you. And honestly, this recipe is so good. It is so authentic. Anyone who's tried it so far has absolutely loved it. It's super soft with this golden yellow crackly crust, which is exactly what you want. So, let's start. So to start, I always like to weigh out all my ingredients instead of using a measuring cup because I find it way more accurate, especially when measuring flour. We're first going to start by making the tongzheng, which is just like a roux made of water and flour with a ratio of 5 to 1. It's a method of incorporating more moisture into the bread to make it soft and fluffy. Today we're going to use 125 grams of water and 25 grams of bread flour. This will make around 120 grams of the roux that we'll need for the bread. So you want to heat it over medium heat and keep whisking it until it reaches a thick roux consistency. Now I'm going to transfer it into a small bowl and put it in the fridge until it cools down to room temperature. I put plastic wrap over it to prevent it from developing a dry skin. Now moving on to the dough for the soft buns. We're going to measure out the flour, our sugar, salt, and instant yeast. Then you're going to give it a little mix before we add in our wet ingredients. Now we're going to add milk, an egg, and the tangzhong we made from earlier. Then you're just going to give that a little mix until a rough dough forms about two minutes. Then we're going to add our softened butter and then mix it on medium speed for a few minutes until it becomes a soft dough. Now I always just knead my dough by hand for a bit after the machine and wear food gloves when dealing with the dough because it's so much easier to work with and you don't need to get your hands all sticky. Shape it into a smooth ball and place it in a lightly oiled bowl and cover it with a plastic wrap. Then place it in a warm spot to let it rise for an hour. Ideally, I like to let my dough rise in the oven at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. While the dough is rising, we're going to make the pineapple bun topping. We're first going to cream together the butter. Then add sugar and cream that together. Then we'll add our egg yolk, milk powder, and our tablespoon of milk and mix it all together. Then we'll add our baking powder, baking soda, and cake flour. And then we'll mix it together until it forms a thick paste like this. Dump it out of the bowl and wrap it in plastic wrap and then shape it into a small log like this. After an hour, look at how much the dough has risen. It's so soft and fluffy. So this recipe makes nine pineapple buns. We're going to weigh it and then divide up into nine equal pieces. It should be around 85 to 86 grams each.
Then we're going to knead each piece and shape it into a ball. And then we're going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it rise for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we'll do one last knead and shape it into a perfect round ball. And then we're going to place it onto a baking sheet with parchment paper and cover it with plastic wrap for our final rise in the oven for about 40 minutes. After that, we'll weigh our topping and divide it into 9 equal pieces. It should be around 32 grams each. After 40 minutes, look how soft and pillowy and fluffy these buns look. Now is a good time to preheat your oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's flatten out each topping ball on top of the same plastic wrap we used to wrap the topping for easier transfer. And then roll it into a circle. I like my buns to be really covered in the topping, so I'm going to roll it out into about 4.5 inches. Then we'll gently place it on top of each bun and gently pat down the sides. And now we're going to use just an egg yolk to brush up the top to give it that extra golden yellow look that we want. Then we'll place it in our preheated oven at 360 degrees for 13 to 14 minutes. And you're done! Look at how beautiful and golden yellow these pineapple buns are. As I said in the beginning, you can throw a huge slab of butter if you're feeling it. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also, if you're not going to eat these straight out of the oven, always remember to never eat a cold pineapple bun. Microwave it for 15 seconds even. It makes a huge difference.